hey guys, how's it going? So, getting there. Next week I'm taking it to get tuned. So I've just been pretty much late nights just working on the car, getting it all ready. But I've almost got all the pipe work on. Got the radiator in, the oil cores in. I've just been doing a bit of electrical, so I'm doing the sensors. I've changed the um, plugs here back to the stock plugs, because I'm going to have side feed 1200s, the um, 5 motorsport ones in here. I'm just waiting for a um, uh, the sensor adapter to come in for the oil pressure sensor. I'll fit it off, it's just ready to go, it's got a plug down there, and I can fit this off properly. Um, but I've also got the oil temp. The oil temps fitted off down here. The sump. I've got the E Flex one. Part of my stuff with the E Flex sitting up here. That's wired up. Just here on the firewall. Um, I've also wired up the thermo fans. So there's an old switch that I found. The old EGR gas valve return thing. So I've just spliced into that one because the Howtech can use it. I've also put spliced in the um, old boost control or solenoid valve wiring and used the plugs to fit off to the valve here, the boost control solenoid valve. Um, and inside, taking the seat out because it's just easy to work. I've just been going through wiring up all the sensors. I've ran them up high, popped them down into here. So that's the um, Link ECU expansion loom. The computer just screws in down there, as you can see. And the plug just goes back on it. I've also made a little, have, have my Pexi turbo timer. I think gives the air fuel ratio, so I've wired a little plug in for that one to go into here. Fixed up a few other cables that were a bit damaged on here. Um, and I've also got a spare wire, just for something else in the future. Spare little figure eight wire here. That's my map sensor, I need a little bunk to plug into that, which is here somewhere. There, so that goes straight to the computer, map switch, or map sensor. And then I've got my wide band controller going here, which is off the can, which I've wired up out of the can off the old Haltech one, and it should work, don't know if it will, hopefully it does. So I've just been fitting that off and then I'm going to see if I can plug it on and see if the computer can pick up the sensors and hopefully all is good for the tune next week. Just got to be careful with this plug, they say it's a bit, it can damage the pins so that's why I'm pushing both sides just to get it in square. Seem pretty good now. Got that little harness that I made up for the turbo timer. The Apexi turbo timer. Plug that in. And then the USB. Go to the computer. So this is the I'm just doing a few silicon hoses now. This is from the computer, a map sensor inside the computer. And that's got to go between the outlet, the little outlet down here, and the fuel pressure reg. Which is a little outlet just up here in the back of the reg. We just have a straight piece from here to there and tee into it for the map sensor inside the link. So I've got the wipe through there. Now I join that. I'm just going to snip this in half and then put a T piece into it there. Make it a little bit shorter.
go. So we've got that one done. I'm just going to run this one, the next one out to the charcoal can canister. And this is the one from the bottom here goes to the charcoal canister as well. Not too sure why there's two, but I don't know. So the car's almost together now, as you can see here. I've got the um, injectors all on, they're all wired up now. Nice and neat. I've got all the back stuff on, and ethanol sensor, finish off the fuel lines. Oil filters in, uh, new fuel filter as well down there. Uh, I've just done done the vacuum lines from all the where they come out here in the front in the front body there, and all the vac lines. And I've even rigged up the old charcoal canister here as well. So I've just run those lines sort of across the top there. Got some P clamps holding the cable in. Looks pretty neat. Um, so I've just been finishing this off. I'm just gonna finish off this side now. The catch can. So I've got a custom cam built, got that built a while back. And um, I know a lot of people just sort of tear that in here, tear that in there, and I hope for the best. It doesn't really work. I've done a lot of track days, and that's how I did it. It's good enough for the street, but when you start pushing your car hard, it doesn't. It's just going to fill up with oil, and you're going to have oil everywhere. Like, I've been in that situation, World Time Attack 2010, World Time Attack 2011. And then, um, so yeah, in the first World Time Attack, I got the shits. I basically... You know, did a lot of research and a few guys in America on the zilviaforums.net. This is what they did, and you get you actually get an extra 10 horsepower out of the way it's ran up. So you've got a where the 16 valve is, you welded some sort of tip fitting in here to come out this way or wherever you put your can. Um, so I've got that in there, and there's a plate under the cover, so you've got to take the cover off, and there's a plate here. You've got to drill a few holes in it just up below that just so it can get through. And then here you can either put a drill and tap that and put a T piece or, or an elbow or whatever. Um, and then just go from here straight to the return. And then um, the last part you do from the air intake, you go to the catch can. And from here you go to the catch can. And ever since I did that, there has been an issue like the lid. I've got a lid under here. It's probably just the lid fills up with oil, which is only a little lid. So I get like, you know, barely any oil in there. I just drained that out after each track day, which, you know, isn't that often. Um, apart from that, it's been sweet. So if you have any issues with your oil cooler setup, go for this and you'll have no issues. So I'm just trying to fit this off now. So, anyway. So I haven't really done yet. You've seen if the link works the ECU here so plug the um plug the cable it's got a cable output in the back of the computer I just ran it through here for now plugged it in a bit of luck it should I just installed the driver I can hear noises, that's good. Hey, yeah, uh, she's on. I just have to try and get my ECU code, I think. Yeah, this ECU is disabled. Contact your ECU supplier to obtain an unlock code. Enter the unlock code to control it. Cool. And obviously, I'm getting a lot of error codes at the moment because. Nothing's really set up yet. Um, there's a few basic functions you meant to do. So anyway, it's been a long day. Another day working until 11 o'clock at night, getting the car ready. So, with a bit of luck, within another week or two, it should, should be tuned, ready to drive. So, and I'll get the car front end painted as well. So uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in a few weeks with an update. Hopefully it's all good. Alright, see ya. Bye. Oh.